When Synology released Distation Manager 7, they introduced a service called Active Insight. Active Insight is simply a tool that allows you to remotely monitor the status of your NAS through a web-based portal and your Synology account. However, if you decide not to use Active Insight, as there's no easy way to stop or uninstall it from within Package Center, it will continuously use a minimal amount of the system resources in your NAS. While this will probably be of little concern to anyone who has a NAS with a fast processor and plenty of RAM, a subscriber with a relatively low spec NAS recently asked if there was a way to remove Active Insight. As this was not something that we've previously considered doing ourselves, after doing a little research on the internet, we thought it might be useful to show you the method that we used. However, before we start, a word of warning. While we do not think that removing Active Insight will have a detrimental effect on your NAS, if you decide to remove Active Insight, you will do so at your own risk. Let's get started by logging into Distation Manager using our administrator's credentials. If we open Package Center, you can see that Active Insight is currently running and there are no options to either stop or uninstall it. So while there are a couple of unofficial ways to uninstall Active Insight, for this demonstration, we're going to use a script that will run through Task Scheduler. If we open Control Panel, and under the heading Services, select Task Scheduler, we will find listed any tasks that our NAS has been set up to run automatically. These tasks might include running backups or checking the status of our hard drives. Let's select Create and choose a task type. As you can see, we have two options, Scheduled Task and Triggered Task. A scheduled task will automatically run on a specific time and date, while a triggered task will only run when a specific condition is met. For the task we're about to create, we can use either task types. However, we've decided to use Triggered Task for the following reason. While Active Insight will not automatically reinstall itself if we reboot our NAS, it might reinstall itself as part of a future update to Distation Manager 7. So because our NAS normally remains powered on 24-7, and because installing system software updates will usually require a reboot, we've decided to create a task that will only ever run after our NAS restarts. Let's select User Defined Script. In the Create Task panel that opens, we have two tabs, General and Task Settings. Let's start in General by giving our task a name. Next, we need to assign user rights to this task, and because uninstalling Active Insight requires elevated access rights, we need to choose the option Root. In Linux, the root account is the account with the most privileges, and unlike our administrator's account, has absolutely no security restrictions, which means that unlike our administrator's account, a mistype command from root could easily wipe out crucial system files. Under Event, we can instruct our task to run on boot up or on shutdown, to which we will choose boot up. We then have an option to enable or disable the task. If we now select Task Settings, the first option is to send an email every time we run this task. We then need to enter the email address where we intend to send the email to. Finally, we need to enter the piece of code that will make up our script. However, as this piece of code consists of two parts, with the first instructing our NAS to stop the Active Insight service, and the second telling it to uninstall Active Insight, we want to make sure that we've correctly created our script. So we're going to enter the first part of the script and then test that the Active Insight service stops. We're then going to add and test the second part of the script, which uninstalls Active Insight. If we select the user to find script field, we first need to type sino pkg stop Active Insight and then select OK. 
we are now warned that running this script with root permissions may result in unexpected system behavior or data loss. However, after confirming our actions by selecting OK again, we are returned to our list of scheduled tasks. Let's test that the first part of our script has worked by highlighting our newly created task and choosing Run. After confirming that we wish to run our task, nothing obvious seems to have changed with Distation Manager. However, if we open Package Center and locate the Active Insight package, you can see that Active Insight is no longer running. Let's close Package Center and return to Task Scheduler. We now need to enter the second piece of code that will uninstall Active Insight. Let's highlight our script and select Edit and Task Settings. Once again, from within User Defined Script, if under the first command we type Sino PKG uninstall Active Insight, after choosing OK, and then confirming our actions, we are once again returned to our list of tasks. Let's once again run our script. As nothing obvious seems to have changed with Distation Manager, let's return to Package Center and check the Active Insight package. As you can see, Active Insight has now been uninstalled. However, if for whatever reason we need to reinstall Active Insight, by simply clicking Install, Active Insight will be reinstalled onto our NAS. As we mentioned earlier, we think that Active Insight should not reinstall itself again unless perhaps there is a major system update. So there's no reason to leave our newly created task enabled to needlessly run whenever we reboot our NAS. If we return to Task Scheduler one final time and remove the Enable tick from our Uninstall Active Insight task, our task will no longer automatically run. However, if in the future Active Insight reinstalls itself, by simply highlighting our Uninstall Active Insight task and selecting Run, we can quickly uninstall Active Insight. So to summarize, in this video, we took a look at how you can use Task Scheduler to create a script that will stop and uninstall Active Insight. We then disabled our scheduled task so that it can only be run manually.